What's up, everybody? Brian Wagner, senior editor of Dragzine here, Rona Dragway, Todd Ferguson. Todd was walking through the pits, and this car caught my eye because it is something you normally don't see at the drag strip. What are we looking at? This is a, uh, a 56 T Bird that has a, an original Y block, a 292 Y block in it. Most T Birds had 312s, but because we raced this one, the 292 block is a little stronger than the 312 block. Uh, it's got a set of Mummer aluminum aftermarket, their stock replacement heads. Uh, and it's got a Mummer tunnel ram, which is basically only been made for a few, you know, I think they have 10 of them. And this car is pretty much all steel, isn't it? This is all steel car, except for hood, and trunk lid and now the doors, but the actual full structure of the car is all steel. And did, did you do most of the build on this car? Kind of tell me about that portion of the show. I actually built the uh, roll cage that's in this car and then recently we did a four link job on it and we contracted with RJ Simrock and RJ and I worked on the car, put the four link in the car. It had a ladder bar in it originally and where we were gonna go wasn't gonna, the ladder bar wasn't the way to go. I saw that. And, and this thing with this Y block, it makes a lot of rip. Let's talk about that because a lot of people might not necessarily know about the, the Y block engine and why this this particular engine is so, so special. Well, Y blocks were started in, let's see, 54 to 64. I think the latest truck blocks were in 64. And uh, they were, that was Ford's frontline motor. They had mushroom lifters, so the lifters have to be installed, you know, before you put the cam in. Um, it's like a flat tappet. Uh, they're basically a, the predecessor to the FE, which is 390s, 360s, you know. Even the motor mounts are FE style motor mounts. Um, but this was the motor that Ford had, and they ran NASCAR with this motor. They ran a lot of different classes. We actually have a, um, we actually have a stock eliminator um, car that has a wide block in it with a factory supercharger, and that have holds a couple national records. And this thing makes, you said what, 600 NA horsepower? Yeah, 609 up at West End. That's and smoking for a small block all motor car. Well, that's smoking for a wide block for sure. And that's pretty damn good for a, yeah, like a 302, you know, especially if you produced it with stock production heads, non-valve non, non angled heads. And, you know, these are this, these heads that are on this car, even though they're, they are on a race car, you can take these heads off and put them on any stock keeper and run them. What's the quickest and fastest this car has been? It's gone 595 and 100. And that's again for this entire combination. That's that, that's flying. Yeah, and that's in pretty good air. That's 2300 feet. Yeah. Now, now let's tag in the gentleman that's the owner that's kind of off screen here. If we can switch out here. This is cool part of this is, is the history. Now, sir, what is your name? My name is Joe Seby. Joe, you're the owner of this vehicle. Kind of give us the, the history of the car and how you came in, you know, why a T-Bird, the history of this car, the whole deal? Because like I said, it's pretty cool, man. Well, I, I drove a, a 56 T-Bird at college at Cal Poly in the late 60s, and I always liked the Y-Blocks. In 1957, they were supercharged the uh, Ford Y-Block, and, and they won the manufacturer's, manufacturer's Cup in uh, uh, NASCAR. And they had a convertible division, and out of the 22 races, that, uh, the Y-Blocks won three quarters of them. So they have a, a long history of racing, but they went away from the Y block uh, in, in, to the FEs in, in 58. And, and they, a lot of people call them truck engines, boat anchors. We're trying to prove that these things can really fly. At 600 horsepower NA, that's that, that's picking them up and laying it down. That yeah. Yeah, and we're, we're building a pro mod now that we're going to put a white block in it. We believe we can manifest, put out a thousand horsepower and 800 uh, reliably to run in B, uh, B gas. This car here is going to be running in C gas next year. That's amazing. Now, well, what's the history with this particular car? How did you come about getting it? Uh, well, Ernie Phillips out of Texas, he was a T-Bird club member out of Texas, and the car was going to be junked. 
And so he decided he wanted to race one. And, and so in the car was going to be junked. He, uh, he stripped it and he put a box frame in it, lightened it, did a lot of things to it. He raced it, he even took it back to Indianapolis and raced it. And, and he had a lot of success. And he sold it to me about 10 years ago. And we've been constantly improving on what Ernie has done with the car. What's your favorite part about seeing a car like this make these amazing passes and you know being part of the T-Bird culture? Well, you know, when you have a, a motor that was designed in 1954 and it puts a lot of big block Chevys and Fords on the truck, and when those guys come out here and look at it, they call us liars, they say it's impossible to be a wide block. It's some sort of a Chevy, but it's not. And that kind of heats up my, my life. It's the competition portion, and, yes. and it, it's being able to do something that people don't think is possible, right? Right, and it's been very reliable, and, and we, we won the 2020 Crowd Cup with this car. In 2020, we took it to Bakersfield at Formosa, and uh, 130 cars, we took it to third place. At the, uh, where was it taught in, uh, in Los Angeles? The, uh, well, yeah, the F Fontana. The last race Fontana had was the hangover nationals and we went to the finals final we were number two but it was really good money paid really well it was a good race so all in all you're probably if we, if we come down to it you guys are the baddest dudes in america with t-birds right well, i'd say well, todd is block, yeah, for, for y block t-birds if y block anything right and that's pretty cool it kind of just shows the ability to really go through and do something that is different that people said it can't be done and you guys out here are doing it. That's really cool. At these big races, we get a lot of women come up and want their picture taken with it. They, they just they just love to see this little deeper run. So, so the moral of the story is, it ain't your average hairdresser's car, right? No. <laughs> but I, I will say this, and I would like to make this known, is that if it really wasn't for John and Jeff Mummert doing the, the, doing the aftermarket heads and the intakes and stuff, these Y blocks would never be anywhere. That is what, that group right there is what makes these Y blocks run. I mean, obviously we work on them and make, put them together and everything, but, but the, that's the only head you can get for that motor that will make that kind of power. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. It's an awesome vehicle. We're going to throw some B-roll up of this throughout the video, all kinds of fun stuff. So check more out on dragzine.com.